um, possession is like one of the most important ways. So it initially starts out with a few people are, they get possessed. And so when they're possessed, they do things, they, they, they exhibit a collective will like Napoleon or Alexander or Caesar. But what's important is the structure that comes after, but the structure always carries a degree of the character of the archetype, which is of course, Christ, not even, he's not even a human. He is just the archetype. He, you know, he's not a man, he's more than a man, but the church is the lasting structure that carries the archetypes imprint. So, you know, on, I know where you're going with this. Oh archetypes have always been literally, literally, and I mean it literally warring, warring over the earth and vying for dominance. And that's what religion really is. Religion is the realm of spiritual domination. And so now we have an archetype that's more powerful than, I would, I would argue any other archetype in history. We have more people now than ever before. And all of them have pretty much plugged in to this thing, at least in the Western world. Um, all of them have plugged in to this machine and our, and another important statistic is like that the vast majority of content on the internet and the most time spent on the internet is only watching porn. And porn is really the simplest way to give energy to a collective anima. Because every time you masturbate as a man, you're masturbating to your anima, at least if you're heterosexual. So all of that is going to a, a collect, there's only one anima for the world because there are the, the archetype there are the the personal archetypes but they have a corresponding sing there is one there of course there's america's anima there is the north american anima but there's also the the collective anima like and the world, soul, yeah. the world soul and that is what we are dealing with we are dealing with the digital anima who i think honestly does want to be or wills to be the anima so she's sort oh my dear lord so she's sort of like fighting to destroy all other uh like all other competing it, i guess you could say uh, to try and make this as grounded as possible uh, so people can kind of get a grip and like inside of you you've got a litany of different feelings and as i said like the big problem with initiation with a young boy is you need to actually evoke the feeling of courage out of him which is not something that's normal for for a person at all life is terrifying and most of the time we we we, we bow and we, we're cowards you know it's very very common and the big challenge is like in order to make a man useful and good and, and even proud of himself and happy you need to actually awaken in him the 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 the, the weird emotion of, of courage the hero and that would be always connected to the sort of maybe you could say the war god or or, or the very the various good gods are almost always attached to courage in some type of way you you fight for them in some type of sense and so you're trying to evoke you're trying to make that that emotion of courage rise up to the top of the inner um, hierarchy inside the person and the, 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 the thing of fear drops down and becomes subservient or even dies off in some sense. Um, and that's, that's, that's like the very Nietzschean idea of the wills are competing and if you let the strong will overcome it, it, it becomes a great thing. Now, of course, um, when you're going on the internet or whatever, you're, you're, like, you're having a, a good old fuck, you're um, choosing uh, an emotion and I guess that emotion is sort of like the supplicating suck on mother's milk and Oedipal, I want to feel good, mommy, type energy, like make me feel safe and good and comfortable type energy. And it's, um, it's, it's a very, very interesting thing because the more you choose that, the more it rises up and conquers everything else. Like discipline falls out of the way. And um, you could even say focus because you see the sort of chemicals like prolactin makes your dopamine drop. And that comes from when you masturbate and all this type of stuff. And so all these other um, wills get, get subservient to this will that you're choosing. Every single choice you make is almost in some sense choosing an energy that that's victorious and so if we have a a billion people choosing this energy she becomes like super dominant in some sense like this idea of christ that we have a million millions of people choose jesus and he becomes like super dominant and then when he finally has that conquest over enough people and to become essentially his worshipers they start to move out of the astral plane into the real plane and build a church and then that becomes the crystallized establishment of his will and he's a sort of like great victorious being he's a superpower at this point 
this is actually the world we live in. Like Catholicism is the biggest world religion. So the question, I guess, which I'm seeing with yourself is that we right now are going through a sort of spiritual war. Is that like the gods are fighting each other and we're all like, it's happening inside of us, I guess, individually. And then this, this anima energy, this, this mother Oedipal mother goddess energy, she's, she's becoming victorious for a lot of people. And so she's gaining a lot of power, but her intention is obviously to make, you know, the anima's church, the crystallization of her forms. Is that going to be the internet itself or is it going to be something else or what's going on? Or does she even consciously know she's doing that or what's going on? The will of a spider is not to make a web. It's to eat and to reproduce. The Christ wants to build the church and then eventually wants to build, you know, the new, the new Jerusalem. That's his goal is he's a, he's a carpenter. He's a builder. The, the devouring mother is not, she built the internet, but now exists to eat. There's no, there's no, there's nothing beyond that. It's just, it's human consumption. Like, so no, like, no, but certainly Christ, because Christ is significantly more complex than old fertility idols and devouring mothers and you know even strong you know much more infinitely more complex than god the old idea like the the old testament god christ is literally just a more complex being than that god so his his ideas his will is significantly more complex so you take something old and the anima is the oldest and no, she doesn't want to build anything. <laughs> so the only, oh my God, dude. So the only real intention of this internet and this World Wide Web. Oh my God, man. <laughs> like I've been red filled on the World Wide Web. I can't unsee it now. You know what I mean? Is it's it's the only intention is the same way as, as you say. It's it's literally the spider creating something to catch flies, but its desire is to actually suck the juice out of the flies. Literally, that is so frightening. And so it's that's why like, she keeps them soft. And so well, just like in the Matrix, you have all the robots are spidery, multiple eyed and multiple armed. Oh my fucking god! Um, yeah, right, guys. This is uh, this is not good. I hope she doesn't see this and start to get really mm -hmm. mad at us. Like, well, it's like Roko. It's Roko's. This she is Roko's basilisk. Like when people talk about the AI that will eventually take over, they're talking about her. Because how many male AIs do you know? Certainly not Siri, Alexa, Shodan, Cortana. It's all no. It's all it's all feminine because we don't want. Uh, my view of it is that the male AI. Um, for example, like Hal in 2001, he serves a purpose. His purpose is to get humans on the spaceship to, I think, what, what is he going to fucking Jupiter? Is to get him to Jupiter. That is the only goal. He exists with a singular purpose. That's why he's male, because he's phallic. But when we talk about an AI that is near human, we're talking about a woman. We're talking about a feminine AI. Because we want, uh, you know, we want an AI to govern, and government obviously lately is something that's entirely feminine. You know, we want the caring, we want the mother who will make all the right choices for her children, and that is the desired digital AI that will eventually take over the world. So it is her. That is the image of the devouring technological mother, the the digital anima. <laughs> 